Greetings. This is Honolulu Blue from HB Cruising with the fourth and last part of my report on the 80s themed cruise on the Ruby Princess. If you haven't seen my other three parts, there are links to them in the description. Be sure to check out the ones you've missed. The day started relatively slowly with breakfast in the buffet. I should note here that my breakfasts on this ship were always good with a good selection of food that I like and was prepared well. After breakfast I hung out at Crooners to work on some things. Crooners had some nice chairs, and my friend agreed. After that I went to another Leo Rossi lecture, this time about his time managing the 50th anniversary tour for the Beach Boys. He told many more interesting stories about his time with the boys, both before and after this. I wished I could have gone to more of his lectures, but I really couldn't find the time. A few more hours passed and I went to dinner in the buffet. It was after 6 and it should have been open. It was not open, at least they were not serving food. I checked both sides and neither had food available. This did not make me happy, but there was nothing I could do about it. So I went to the nearby Salty Dog Grill for another burger. Again, it was quite alright and filled the aching in my stomach. Then came the highlight of the day, and the highlight of the cruise, the concert from Red Corvette. They were a Prince tribute band that played songs from the Purple One, including my favorite from him, Take Me With You. I was very surprised that they played it, considering Prince has had many bigger hits. One thing I noticed was that of the 10 songs they played, 6 were from Purple Rain, including Take Me With You. Another thing I noticed is that they only played songs from the middle of Prince's career, from 1999 to Parade. It was a golden 4 years, but he's had many good songs from outside that range. I really liked Red Corvette but someone who didn't like Purple Rain as much as I did probably wouldn't have liked them as much. I attended both of Red Corvette's concerts, at 7.30 and 9.30, and they gave the same excellent performance for each. The songs they played were the same, and in the same order. I encourage you to seek out Red Corvette if they come to your town, especially if you're a fan of Prince. And I encouraged Princes to book Red Corvette again on one of these 80s cruises, which I hope they continue. The next morning I made it off the ship and successfully completed the long journey home. I want to thank you for joining me in my telling of my trip back to the 80s on the Ruby Princess. I hope they do more of these 80s themed cruises in the future. I'll do my best to be on one or more of them. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for easier access to more of my content about music themed cruises and solo travel.